Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you just one hand of this full set as I do the exact same techniques just in different colours. I'm starting with my pastel yellow colour here, blending in the line because it's going to be an ombre. I used Glam and Glitz Karen and my brand Glitter Bells Snowdrops White to make this pastel yellow colour which you will find below in the description box, the link if you wish to purchase or have a nose. This pale blue here is the Glam and Glitz Colour Blueprint from the new Colour Blend collection. So I'm applying my bead, tapping and pressing, and then dragging the end of that product down there. The brush I'm using is the size 12 Glitter Bells brush, also on my website. Making sure that's all nicely blended there. Going in with some glitter now. These glitters will be coming soon to my brand Glitter Bells, which I'm really excited about. So I'm dipping into clear acrylic first and then into the tub of loose glitter. Making sure those edges are still nice and clean. Same here, but with blue. Dip into your clear, then to your glitter. Tap it and move it around. And then I'm going to drag it down quite a lot to blend this because I want it to be really, really blended. So it doesn't look like it's two complete separate colors or too liney. I want it to be really seamless. So I find that dragging it down that little bit farther does make a big difference. What do we think of that guys? I'm going in with blueprint here now. I'm sorry I do go out of shot here but I applied this exactly the same as what you've just seen on the previous nail. And then I'm going to go in with my pastel yellow again. Applying my bead, wiping my brush, tapping up into that cuticle, dragging the very end of the product, not taking it all the way from the cuticle and wiping down from there. How's the order going? Tap and press at the top and then drag the end of the product. And there was a funny little lump in there so I'm just going to drag that out and then fix that back up. Back down again, swiping, swiping, blending as much as possible. Tiny bit more yellow because of that little lump being in there it kind of messed up my ombre a bit. So another little bead. Tapping, and dragging down. Making that super blended. Make sure none of it's gone into the sides. Going in with blueprint again here. I'm just applying one bead of this. Just messy down the nail because this is going to be a marble design. So I do one bead just to get it all nice and neat at the cuticle first. Going in with yellow here, swiping it across the nail, tapping and blending it. Then I dipped into my blue and my yellow and I'm swirling with the very tip of my brush, dragging down the corners and then down the nail. All the way to the end. Next I'm going in with just blue. So you can go in like with one colour or two colours and just keep playing a bit. I'm doing this so it can cover all that clear tip at the end so I can go in with my last little bit of yellow. Just like that. So that's where we are so far guys. Hope you're liking them. Going in with my loose glitters again and my clear acrylic. I'm just going to go across this nail here, across the marble. Blending it out just with the very tip of my brush. No need for the belly because you just want to be able to move it exactly where you want it. The 
this little finger now. I'm going in with my yellow just on the very end. Blending that down. A little bit more to make sure that clear tip is totally covered up. And in with blueprint again, applying my bead into the cuticle. Pressing that down and blending with the tip of my brush. Now I do do some 3D work and Swarovski work on these nails at the end but I didn't get to record it. I have already done a separate video on 3D flowers and crystals in one so what I shall do is if you would like to see how I created them I will leave the link also in the description box to the next video showing that if you wish to watch guys. And there we are. Now this thumb is going to be another marble so I do show the first bead and for some reason my phone decided to cut out halfway through filming this thumb so you don't get to see the whole marble but at least you did get to see it just on the other finger so not too bad. Going with yellow and blue and then I think it's any minute now it cuts out and ruins it for me. Any minute. Get ready. Yep, there it is. Oh, magic, it's done. So, yep, now we're going to go in with the glitter. This time I'm not going all the way across. I'm doing it in kind of like, I don't really know what you'd call it, like a swooshy shape. That's what I call them. You'll probably see these on most of my sets of nails because I love doing glitter swooshes. Or S shapes. Funny S shapes. So I don't know. But I love it. Look at the sparkle. So that's that hand. Capping in clear now. I went out of shot uh, at some point in a minute, so it does get a bit lost. Yep, there. So going in with the second bead. I have got other videos though that shows me capping everything and exactly how I cap it, so you can check that out if you're really interested in seeing how I cap in clear. I am using the glass slippers by Glitter Bowls Clear Acrylic on all of these nails by the way. So now I'm top coating, I decided to show top coating the other hand because you haven't seen that one yet. Using the Kiara Sky Non Wipe Top Coat, I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and that, and that will be the end of the video so I'll leave all the links below to the other videos and to the products used and I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks very much guys! See you later. Bye. It's <laughs>